Hi everyone, it's Rock Rivera. I'm here at Disney Springs and I'm gonna celebrate International Women's Day and Women's History Month. Come join me. All right, let's go. All right, let's get serious and head over to the Marvel Superhero Headquarters. We're gonna check out the female superheroes that are symbols that prove girls can be just as strong and capable as their male counterparts. Here in the store, you can find Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel, and Wonder Woman merch. What? Captain Marvel edible piñata? Gonna have to try that later. Well, if you have time, be sure to stop by and check out the female superhero merch. All right. I'm thirsty. Let's go get some beer. All right, we made it over here to City Works. We're gonna try some women-owned or lead brewery beer, which is really cool. I didn't know that there were some women-owned lead breweries. I've never heard of any, so it's good to get informed and try some local beers out and also some other beers from around the country. We're gonna try the Her Hops flight, and I'm really excited about this. They have this flight out, I believe, just for this month to celebrate Women's History Month, so let's try these beers out. So. Let's start off, we're gonna try this red ale and it's from Titusville and it is from the Playa Linda Brewing Co. And so we've actually tried this one before in Disney, right? So I'm gonna try it again though. I remember it being really light and refreshing. Oh, it's so good. I like the red, the red ale taste overall, it's good. Okay, the next one. And you're my boy, Blue, <laughs> from the Brew Bus Brewing in Tampa, Florida. I love that reference because it's from the movie Old School. <laughs> mm. Wow, that one is a little fruity, but really good too. I love how these samples are this flight. Like the cups are really big, right? <laughs> The next one, I love the name. It's Akuna Matata, and it's from the D9 Brewing Co. located in North Carolina. It, it's good. It's a little more hoppy than the others, but I still really like it. This one is called Duke's Cold Nose from Bold City Brewery from Jacksonville, Florida. That one's really good too. This one feels a little more weedier. The first one, the Robotness Red Ale, the co-owners are Katie, Rake, and Donna Scott. And for this one, You're My Boy Blue from Tampa, the co-founder and the CFO is Tony Derby. And from the Hakuna Matata from D9 Brewing Co., the regional head brewer is Carly Smith. And the Duke Cold Nose beer. The co-founder and the co-owner is Susan Miller. So that's really neat. I know brewing is really hard. I've tried it before and there's so many steps and just to keep everything sanitized, you have to be uh, super detailed. So it's pretty awesome and good job to all of them in these breweries. And I really would like to visit some of these breweries here in Florida and, and hopefully catch a tour sometime. So I hope you guys can check these this flight out it's really neat and it's awesome to just be able to try some of these beers today next stop house of blues we really wanted to check out the halo missions guitar string jewelry and this jewelry has an amazing purpose it helps women in different stages of addiction recovery, and they're taught how to make handcraft jewelry from guitar strings, which is pretty neat. 
Then they're paid for each piece of jewelry and it helps to provide them supplemental income while in recovery. Halo Missions is doing an incredible job helping other women. Be sure to check out their merch if you're here at City Walk. <laughs> there it is. I didn't forget about that new Captain Marvel piñata at the Ganachery. I'm so excited because Dizzy Springs has debuted so many desserts here for Women's History Month. Here at the Ganachery, Amanda Larder, who is the chief chocolatier, created the Ganachery's Tuck Bonbon and the Captain Marvel piñata. I had to have that Captain Marvel piñata with the dark chocolate sphere and the fondant star and stripes. And I really do like the Captain Marvel movie. I think she's pretty awesome because she's always told she can't do things, she's doubted, but she always proves all the stereotypes wrong. All right, let's go check out some more desserts. We're here at Sprinkles, come on in. Now, if you haven't been to Sprinkles, they have amazing cupcakes. And for this month, they have a special cupcake feature. It is the white chocolate raspberry cupcake. Throughout Disney Springs, there are also retailers who are supporting women's empowerment through special products and offerings. This Solidarity Hand Cream donates 100% of its profits to women's leadership causes and can be found at Le Actin in Provence. At Alex and Annie, they have a new collection and it's called It's a New Day and it celebrates women reaching their full potential through the pursuit of personal growth. I also wanted to check out the Love Pop store. More than half of the Love Pop workforce is made up of women and they're proud to offer special cards and gifts designed by women and for women. So guys, I ended up getting the Stronger Together women's card from Love Pop and I'm in love with it. It's so beautiful and it just means a lot to me. I have a full-time job and I'm trying to do this on the side and I mostly worked in male-dominated fields and so Women's International Day and Women's History Month, and Women's History Month has meant a lot to me and so I'm really excited to give this to somebody and just to show, hey, I acknowledge you and I appreciate you. So I went to the ganachere and I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this. Ah! It has a real beauty to the beast feel to it with the dome. Look at all that white, those white chocolate balls and the Captain Marvel star and the red and blue. All right, let me open it. <laughs> the chocolate's falling everywhere. Mmm. That's some good white chocolate. You can't forget. My mallet! And it says the notchery on it, of course. I can't wait. Supposedly there's pecan crunch pieces in here. So let's go ahead and crack it open. I'm so excited. Alright, let's break this piñata open. Girl power! <laughs> oh my god, it fell. I broke it! Check it out. Whoa! Look at that, that looks so yummy. And it's all on the inside. Chocolate for days. More desserts. So at Amaretz, they are featuring Chef Yoli's Flan Cocho. This beautiful treat features her two favorite desserts, chocolate cake and flan, and it's also inspired by her Puerto Rican heritage. I can't wait to come back and try it. And we also headed into World of Disney where we found some really cute Minnie Mouse merch and it was on display to celebrate Women's History Month too. 
Okay, let's head to the Disney Marketplace Co-op to celebrate women in artistry and animation. Here we can find Mary Blair. She worked in animation and helped introduce modern art to Walt Disney and his studio. She also worked on a number of projects and was named art supervisor of the Tres Caballeros. Her art also influenced many other productions such as Alice in Wonderland. Here's Retta Scott. She was the studio's first woman animator and received screen credit as supervising animator for the movie Bambi in 1942. Next you can find Ruthie Thompson. She was excellent at figuring out camera mechanics and was also supervisor of the scene planning department. She was one of the first women to be admitted into the Hollywood International Photographers Camera Union. She dedicated 40 years to the Walt Disney Cole and worked on virtually every Disney animated feature up through the rescuers. Oh look, it's Jasmine Beckett Griffin. She is a traditional painter. All of her paintings are painted by hand and painted on wood or panels. She mostly paints female characters that embrace the delicate balance between aesthetic and deeper meanings. Her work can be found in public and private collections throughout the world. All right, let's head over to the Art of Disney and check out some more female artists. Here is Barbara Worth Baldwin. She worked at the Disney Animation Studios and was the first head of the department. She worked on Pinocchio, Fantasia, and Dumbo. When she was asked what advice she would give to young women, she said, stick up for your rights. I mean, fight. Don't feel inferior. Demand to learn. Go to school. Learn animation. Griselda Sastrawinata LeMay is a visual development artist who worked on Moana Frozen 2, Raya and the Last Dragon, and many other movies. Check out all these female characters from Disney TV shows and movies. Thank you for joining me guys, it was so much fun. Thanks for celebrating International Women's Day and Women's History Month with me. I hope you learned something and continue to celebrate women everywhere. Have a good week and a good day and see you next time, bye.